Hey y'all, I forgot to mention some things in this video that I'm about to show you. Um, I don't explain the tarsal gland very well. If you're a hunter, you know what a tarsal gland is. A deer pees on them, it's on their back legs. But aging them doesn't do anything but make the hide stink that the hair's attached to. Um, I pour vodka on them and that 80 proof cheap vodka keeps it from growing mold. It keeps that hide from stinking and stuff like that, but I'll soak it in there for a good while, you know, warm. Uh, just sniff it every once in a while. It don't smell horrible. And when you're ready, you add the glycerin, but you remove the tarsal glands. And I would freeze them because those tarsal glands, you hang them up over a scrape or something they like that. But uh, let's see. I'm a hunter, I'm a trapper, I hunt for food, so I've been waiting for cold weather, that's why you don't see me hunt a lot, and I wait till about December before I trap, because I want the fur to be good, but I collect the glands, and it's taken me a long time to make this video, because when I decided to make this video, I had to start collecting glands, and tainting glands, and freezing glands. I don't typically freeze them, but sometimes you don't have time, you know, life happens. But if I forgot anything else, I want you all to ask me. I'll tell you. be more than happy to help anybody I can. This is just how I do it. And the one that I'm getting ready to show you, you can taint it and make it stronger. I just didn't on this one. I make several of them. You can mix different things together and make your own. I'm just showing you how I do things. If I'm going to mix them, I'll mix them later. Hope you enjoy the video. I'll link a video making bobcat bait and showing how to remove this particular gray gland I talk about on a bobcat. It's not the greatest video, but you, you'll get the point if you watch it. Thanks, y'all. Right, down in there, we got deer glands from 2020. And they've been in that bottle with nothing else all this time. I believe it was from January. And we're going to add some Jack Daniels. And I'll show you what's next. Okay. Time. I have shown you that we put the uh, glands. They're, they're really a lymph node. A lot of people call them a lymph node. Uh, I've let them sit with that whiskey in there for a few days. It just in my opinion it makes it stronger uh, they do have to rehydrate a little bit because I don't grind them up or anything I just use the liquid off of them after it gets in there but what we want to do is put some glycerin in it uh, let's see if I can do this here now what we're after is one third gland. Of course, like I said, this is tainted all summer long. They call it tainted. It's basically rotting in that jar. And it doesn't smell horrible when you open it up, believe it or not. But some people grind them ahead of time, stuff like that. I just mash them up real good. I'll leave that set and I'll let that settle. here I leave that set and I let that settle and then I will take a syringe and I'll suck it the finished product out of that bottle and I'll put it into these bottles that I reuse over year over year over year this one here is a, a doe tarsal gland from 2014 now, that doesn't mean all these deer come from 2014. These were saved up in the freezer, and then I made this in 2014, and it was a full jar. I have my friends save them for me, and stuff like that. Some people will tell you, don't freeze them. It's okay to freeze them if you freeze them right. Like the one we're getting ready to make. <laughs> if you're squeamish, turn this off. Those are called husks. What are they? Well, they're the testicles off of a buck deer. And if you freeze them, leave the hide on them. 
and wrap them up two or three times. And if you're married, get a lawyer. <laughs> we are going to make musk scent. Now, if you're old enough, you remember musk perfumes and stuff like that. I come from the husks of a red stag deer. It was basically the main ingredient. Uh, people started shooting them just for that reason to sell it real expensive to perfume companies. So they made that illegal and they've come out with a synthetic version that's called Tonquin Musk. And it's a little expensive even though it's synthetic. I've had that for years, but people add that in some of their scents and lures and stuff like that. But I'm telling you, man, one drop of that stuff, if it's not the right combination, can ruin your whole scent. Uh, I've done it. So I no longer use that. I haven't used that for a long, long time. But what we're going to do today is we're going to take these husks off of a male and we're going to hopefully carefully without cutting my finger split it open now careful but if you take that membrane off there it kind of looks like that. Now what we want to do is cut that inner sack. Now see how that changed in color? I hope y'all can see that. That's the part we want. So we're going to do it like you're dressing an animal again. And like I said, you don't have to be that careful. This does not stink, anything like that. Matter of fact, most people say it smells real good till they know what it is, because it just like the red stag, these are husks. See that coming out of there? You just squeeze that husk, a little big old hole in it, until you've got all that out of there that you can. Okay. Now I'm going to throw that part away. Some people use that part, I don't. Now, let me get back to you when I get a fresh pair of gloves. I gotta touch my camera. <laughs> okay, I went ahead and cleaned the other one off camera for you. We're gonna take that stick and absolutely smash the crap out of these things. Some people grind them, I don't. I'll be right. All right, we got them smashed up in there. Set her level. 80 proof vodka is my favorite. I don't have any vodka. Really didn't want to go out just to get it. I've got some of that scent, and I do make various different scents. This one is bourbon. Uh, this is just some cheap bourbon. This is close to Jack Daniels as I can get. And one of I bought it. Want one third gland, one third whiskey. Vodka's the best. And one third vegetable glycerin, 100% is what I use. And stir it up. Mash it up. Leave her set for a little while. And I will bottle this one up different than I do the I call them gray glands. This one, I use everything. I use it all, the whole thing. Uh, if you really, really, really grind that stuff up, it'll turn into almost like a gelatin with the right consistency of glycerin. So we know what these are. They're called husks, to be a nice way. People eat ghost, goat husks in certain countries and stuff like that, so it can't be that gross. That's on YouTube, right? This one here is what I call gray gland. Some people call it lymph nodes and stuff like that. I'll show you a picture of where... 
the main ones I use come from. Okay. The new charts for a cow, I used to be a meat cutter for quite a few years, uh, among other things. The kneecap on a, on a deer, basically, on its back leg, you cut just above it, you follow the bone, and that's the tip roast. You cut, you take that out, and some people call it football roast and all that Well, they've changed the name of that for some reason to a tri-tip. I don't know who changed the cow, but it's tip roast. Up above that, which would basically be the deer's butt cheeks, you have a top round and a bottom round. When you cut all that off of there, you peel that top round and bottom round apart, and there's a big piece of fat. You cut that fat open, and there's a gray gland in there. That's what has set in this bottle all summer long, sealed up to where the flies can't get it. Now it's a finished product. It is currently in the scrape that we showed you, or we're going to show you, I ain't sure yet. And this one is tarsal gland. And I'll show you a picture of the tarsals. I think most of you know what that is. But when you do one-third 80 proof cheap vodka, one-third glycerin and one-third gland you're you're making that stuff that you're paying what seven ten twelve dollars an ounce for and if you taint it it gets stronger they make that strong smell for you they don't make that strong smell for the deer still works but if you've ever killed a deer it doesn't smell like that stuff in the store it smells like this All right. We got our grapevine on the stick, tied with a piece of bank line. Bungee cord's better. Deer and the bears love it. They've already got it opened up a little bit. I'll open it up some more. The scent I just showed you how to make. Right there. Find us a stick. And if you look right here, that cavity. My homemade deer butter. Get a little bit of it on a stick. Oop, oop, oop. Stay on the stick. And put it right up in that. Oop. Got some. Right up in that cavity. I did that last year. Now like it's so well, they've already come back to it this year a little bit. We'll see. Thanks for coming to Owls Outdoors and always share your fire.